Hello, beautiful flower friends. Today, we are going to be transforming this fresh lily into this pressed lily. Lilies represent purity and innocence, which got me to thinking, what does purity actually mean? I went to the Googles and I Googled it. The definition of purity makes sense as a string of words put together that are grammatically correct, but I still didn't really understand what purity meant. And judging from all these questions, I'm not the only one that's still confused. Purity has a connotation of only pertaining to women, and as a result, I feel like society has certain expectations for us in regards to this. Expectations that, honestly, I am no longer interested in meeting. My old definition of purity was all shaped by my Catholic education and being raised Catholic. When I was younger, I thought that being pure was something to strive for. It meant that I was a good girl, and I didn't know why that meant so much to me. Now that I've grown up and <laughs> experienced just a little more life, I am starting to define purity for myself. I asked myself, what's my definition of purity? Is it something that is important to me now? And why was the old definition of purity so important to me? What I've come to learn for myself is that my thinking around the word has changed, and I'm no longer interested in the word purity itself, because I carry so many negative connotations with the word. What I want for myself in the realm of purity is to have honorable intentions and to be happy and true to myself. It's really beautiful how that one word illustrates how my way of thinking has evolved through my life. When you're pressing this lily, I hope that you can take some time out to answer these questions yourself because the more you know about yourself, the more you're able to show up confidently and more authentically. And I want that for all of us. So I hope when you press flowers, you use it as an opportunity to practice a little bit of self-care and self-love. If you stumble upon any thoughts that you would love to share, message me or leave a comment. I'd love to hear what you uncover. The first method of pressing a lily is petal by petal. You already know. This method allows for a lot of flexibility on how to arrange your final flower. So first we're going to remove the anthers and this is a personal preference and I just prefer it without. Then we're going to be taking it apart petal by petal. And once the flower is disassembled and every part is given its own space on the press, close it up and check on your flowers once in a while to see if the paper needs to be swapped out. The second method of pressing the lily is whole. Again, personal preference, I'm removing the anthers, but you can leave yours on if you want. And you can dust some of the pollen off now, but it is a whole lot easier once you wait until the petals are completely dry. I just got ahead of myself and I wanted to do it now. Then, just like we did with Alstromeria, we're going to remove just one of the outer petals. Place the flower face down, so wherever you move that one petal, make sure that empty space is now down on the press. I do this because it ensures that those petals stay open. Then just put on the top layer of your press and you are good to go. When lily petals are fully done, they become transparent and you can see the veins in the petals. And if you press a white one, it becomes iridescent, which is so cool to see. I'll show you at the end. If you pressed petal by petal, you can assemble your lily however you like. This is one way and this is another. To attach the petals, use liquid glue right at the stem of the flower. And then to attach the petals to anything else, you can use glue stick or even a runny liquid glue like Mod Podge or Elmer's glue. If you press the lily whole, congratulations! You've saved yourself a lot of time. The petals will sometimes disconnect from the stem, so just use a little bit of glue and you are all good. In the next video, we'll be pressing carnations. 
I'm still working super hard on designing my website, so sign up for the newsletter to be notified of when my website goes live and when my own shop goes live. I will be sending a sneak peek soon. Until next time, take care, happy pressing, bye. And once the flower is dissembled, disassembled?